Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be replacing a cracked screen on a MacBook Air. The model of this is A2337. If you're not sure where to buy the screen from, or maybe the tools, please check the link down in the description below. I'll link it directly to either Amazon or eBay, where you can find a screen replacement as well as the tool for this repair. Here I'll be using a Pentalo P5, that is a screwdriver, and we're going to remove all the screws here and get the back cover removed. The top four screws are much longer, and the rest of other screws here are a lot shorter. Make sure you do not mix match the screws because all the screws are not the same size. So you want to make a reference to yourself when you remove them later on you know where the screw belongs to when you put them back together all right once you have removed all the screws using a pentalo p5 the next step is to remove the um, back cover to remove the back cover is very easy you just simply get in between this plus uh, this cover here and then just kind of pop it up and just lift up the entire back cover Alright, at this point here, you're going to see the entire internal part of the computer. Let me zoom in a little bit and I want to show it to you how to disconnect the battery. So technically the battery is still intact. And for the safety reason, the best thing is to disconnect the battery. So what you want to do is you want to go underneath that little clipper right there and then just pop it open. Okay, once you pop that little clipper open, now you can remove the connector by simply just leave it straight up. Once the battery is disconnect, let's go ahead and get yourself a T3. This is a torque T3 screwdriver. I'm going to remove this tiny little screw and that screw is holding down the bracket which is holding down the Wi-Fi connector. Once I've removed the screw and the bracket, go ahead and disconnect the Wi-Fi connector by simply lifting it straight up. All right, next step, I'll be using a T5. So my best advice for you is probably you might want to take a picture of it, the internal part of the computer, print it out, and use that as a reference because when you remove the screws, you can lay it down on the piece of paper that you just printed out so that you know where the screw belongs to later on. Okay. This is on the other side of it. I just removed four screws, which is holding down the Wi-Fi antenna. So this whole bracket here is Wi-Fi antenna, except this little um, display board. Okay, next step, using a T3. And remove the tiny little screw. And remove the bracket. And here you want to use a plastic prying tool to go underneath the flex cable and kind of lift it up to pop it open. They are just like Lego, so you kind of need to get in between the connector and just lift it straight up. Okay, once you have done with that process, go ahead and uh, see. I'm using a T5 here. I'm gonna remove this black screw. Okay, once I've removed the two screws, now you can see that the LCD display board became loose. Okay, now go ahead and remove. the Wi-Fi antenna, making sure that the uh, flex cable here is not caught in a way because we're going to pop this thing up. I'm going to remove this Wi-Fi antenna. Okay. 
you might need to wiggle a little bit right here in the middle is where the uh, clipper is still clipping onto you see that little piece of the metal running across and that piece right there is kind of clipped onto the bracket on this side of it okay you just need to little wiggle a little until you lift it straight up so this wi-fi antenna will just get removed put it on the side i'll be using a t8 screwdriver torque t8 i'm going to remove the three screws here one two three Just a quick reminder, if you're not sure where to buy the replacement tools and the screen, please check the link down description below. I'll link it directly to either Amazon or eBay, where you can uh, find the replacement uh, parts. Alright, so the three screws here holding down the hinge, the LCD screen, and the three more screws here holding down on the other side. At this point here, you can go ahead and open up the computer. So I'm going to open up the screen, okay, push it all the way to the back, and then you can just lift it straight up, lift that, lift that hinge up, okay, lift it up, and then the whole screen will just detach from the computer. Alright, so that is the old screen, I have a new screen here, it comes with the entire PCB board. All right, and what you want to do is you want to push that hinge all the way to the back on both sides. And what you want to do is making sure the uh, the board here is going to go on top of the computer, okay? Because the screen board cannot be underneath. That doesn't work. It has to go on top of the computer like that. Okay, while this thing is sitting on top, what you want to do is making sure that the hinge is going to slide into the computer. So I'm going to hold up the computer and the hinge, and I'm going to slide it in in a reverse process. How you was open like that, and then you're going to slide it in. And then on both sides, you're making sure that it's in left and right while you're holding the screen and then just kind of let it sit on, on top of the table double check making sure that the uh, the flex cable board the, the screen board is sitting on top of the laptop still while the screen is resting down what I like to do is I like to put one of the screw to hold down that hinge so that I can close the screen and continue working on it holding that and then put that one screw in same thing on the other side of the screen and now I can close the screen double check making sure that the flex cable is not pinched down and is sitting on top of the computer great and I'll come back and finish up the two more screws here on the top right corner. Okay, this is the top left. Once you're done with that process, now let's go ahead and get the Wi-Fi. You want to make sure that the board goes in between that hole, like so, okay? All right, so once the uh, display board get in between that Wi-Fi antenna here, and double check making sure that your flex cable is still sitting on top of it and now you want to push the Wi-Fi antenna in try to connect it back together I know it's difficult sometimes but that metal piece in the middle should just kind of go in 
the computer like that okay just press it down that should do it while I'm holding down the Wi-Fi antenna I'm gonna have the two screws going back on the top right corner here using my T5 while holding it down still come back and finish up the top left corner and that should do it once you're done you want to fold that LCD board back and you're going to see the two screws the two little hole ready for you to use the T5 and the two black screw going back on top of it so far if you still follow along the video you're pretty close to get done and if you do find this video is helpful uh, please go ahead and like the video okay here you want to pay attention to is to put that the uh, connector back and they're just like Lego you just have to make sure you align them properly and then just gently push it down you don't have to press it hard just gently push it down and you should feel that little connection that get connected together do not forget the bracket holding down that and then the two screws here will be going on top of it all right now let's go ahead and get the uh, Wi-Fi cable connector insert back you want to pay a close attention to this process do not rush yourself and do not press it hard so the two circles the connector just going to sit on top of each other like that and all you have to do is just to align them properly do not push it real hard okay If, I, if you can follow along the video and replace the screen for yourself and you know if you like the video please go ahead and smash the like button I really appreciate you for doing that if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe and here I would like to talk about the battery connector so making sure that the clipper is open alright it's facing up is open now you want to close it down Let me know, comment down below if I was able to save you some money instead of uh, going to the Apple store and get it replaced. And if you can follow along and, and get your screen replaced here, uh, just comment down below. So I got a little trick I wanted to show it to you is when you ins insert that battery uh, you can't just simply push it down you have to slide it in tuck it in meaning that the bottom part here the bottom part okay the back part here would have to slide into the gap then you can close it so just like that slide it in okay slide it in so tuck it in at 45 degrees, just slide it in, close it down, push it down, and then use that metal clipper to lock it in. For some reason, this clipper is just annoying. Okay, push it all the way in, it locks it, and the battery holds, the connector holds it right there. Okay, next part, the bracket, the back plate, put it back together zoom out a little bit 
and Pentalo P5. We're going to have all the screws, put them back together. All right, so what I wanted to um, say to you is I got distracted earlier. Um, if this video is helpful and you want to show appreciation, uh, I really appreciate you if you can click on the YouTube Super Thanks. YouTube Super Thanks allow you to show your gratitude um, and to support my work and the channel. Okay. I just want to thank you in advance for doing that. Uh, hopefully, this video helped you to save some money. I'm not sure how much the Apple gonna cost you for this screen replacement, but you can buy the screen for less than $200. I will turn on the computer and show it to you how the screen quality looks like but not in very detail because uh, there would be a personal data of a client of mine okay so again um, if the computer doesn't turn on do not get panic and more likely is because um, we disconnect the battery and once you disconnect the battery long enough, the computer wouldn't recognize it. It may take some time to turn it back on. And the easiest way for you to turn it on a lot faster, quicker, is to um, plug in your adapter, the power core. Okay. Um, come on. I have faith in you that you will turn on because I do not want to bring the adapter. So I'll be, I use Pentola P5, Torque T5, Torque T8, and the T3. That's what I use for this repair. Seriously, you're not gonna turn on. All right, I'll go grab the adapter, hold on. And let me lift the microphone here. And I'll go grab the adapter. It should be just a USB C adapter. Um, nothing really special. So, where's my USB C? Come on. Right here. Okay. Here's the USB-C adapter and just plug it in and that should turn on the computer. There you go. And the screen looks pretty good. I just want to make sure that uh, Alright, so that's the screen. Okay. Hopefully this video is helpful. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.